publish 1803 est, the 4th of December 2017 updated 1847 est, the 4th of December 2017 astronomers have long studied the universe for signs of life elsewhere. They even say many faraway worlds have conditions that could be right for life. But two new studies claim we may have been overlooking a key issue wind. Scroll down for video the roughly Earth-sized exoplanet Proxima b thought to be orbiting within the habitable zone of our closest stellar neighbor, just 4.2 light-years away. An artist's impression is pictured, but researchers now believe a stellar wind may have stripped it of the ingredients for life. Stellar wind is the powerful, unceasing flow of particles flowing outward from a star. Earth is protected from brunt of the sun's wind by a magnetic field that surrounds the planet, the field called a magnetosphere deflects the majority of the stellar wind that could tear away at Earth's atmosphere, but exoplanets orbiting close to red dwarf stars may not be nearly so lucky. The two research papers published in Astrophysical Journal Letters reveal that stellar wind may have stripped many candidates of their chance at life. Traditional definition and climate models of the habitable zone consider only the surface temperature, Xuan Fei Dong of Princeton, who led the first study, said, but the stellar Wind can significantly contribute to the long-term erosion and atmospheric loss of many exoplanets, so the climate models tell only part of the story. The first paper looks at the time scale of atmospheric retention on Proxima Centauri BPCB, which orbits the nearest star to our solar system, some four light years away. The second paper questions how long oceans could survive on water worlds, planets thought to have seas that could be hundreds of miles deep. The studies show that the stellar wind, a constant outpouring of charged particles that sweep out into space, could severely deplete the atmosphere of such planets over hundreds of millions of years, a rendering them unable to host surface-based life as we know it. Proxima Centauri is smaller and 1,000 times weaker than our Sun, which means Proxima b is at exactly the right distance for conditions to be potentially habitable. On Proxima Centauri b, the model indicates that high stellar wind pressure would cause the atmosphere to escape and prevent atmosphere from lasting long enough to give rise to surface-based life as we know it. The evolution of life takes billions of years, Dong noted. Our results indicate that PCB and similar exoplanets are generally not capable of supporting an atmosphere over sufficiently long time scales when the stellar wind pressure is high. It is only if the pressure is sufficiently low, he said, and if the exoplanet has a reasonably strong magnetic shield like that of the Earth's magnetosphere, that the exoplanet can retain an atmosphere and has the potential for habitability. Distance This is the closest Earth-like planet we could ever find. Orbiting our nearest star, the planet is only four light years away. Missions to send spacecraft to the planet to examine for signs of life are already in planning, and could happen within decades. Composition The planet is rocky and a similar size to Earth. Temperature It lies in the habitable zone of its star, which means there could be liquid water on its surface a key ingredient for alien life. The temperature on the surface of the planet could be between 90 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius 130 and 86 Fahrenheit. Atmosphere If Proxima b has an atmosphere, the simple ingredients water, carbon dioxide, and rock that are needed for the formation of biochemical cycles that we call life, could all be present and interacting on the planet's surface. Researchers simulated the photochemical impact of starlight and the electromagnetic erosion of stellar wind on the atmosphere of the exoplanets. They also found the habitable zone circling red stars could evolve over time, meaning the atmosphere could have eroded too soon, even if the exoplanet was protected by a strong magnetic field like the magnetosphere surrounding Earth. In addition, such close-in planets could also be tidally locked like our Moon, with one side always exposed to the star, the resultant weak global magnetic field and the constant bombardment of stellar wind would serve to intensify losses of atmosphere on the star-facing side, the results indicate the high probability of dried-up surfaces on planets that orbit red stars that might once have held oceans that could give birth to life, the researchers concluded.